your souls. And maybe you're hearing my voice today and and you would say, Preacher, I need that rest. I need that rest that you speak of. My life is it's just devastated. My life is destroyed. My life has been destroyed by my sinful choices and by my rebellion against a holy God. Well, good news for you, friend. There is rest. It's available in Jesus Christ. If you'll come to Him in faith, believing that He is exactly who this scripture that I hold in my hand reveals, uh, reveals Him to be. The Holy One. Let me read to you from Amos, one of the Old Testament prophets, in chapter 4. I want to read here in verses 12 and 13. In Amos chapter 4, Therefore thus will I do unto thee, O Israel, and because I will do this unto thee, prepare to meet thy God. O Israel, prepare to meet thy God. And in verse 13, For lo, he that formeth the mountains, and createth the wind, and declareth unto man what is his thought, that maketh the morning darkness, and treadeth upon the high places of the earth, the Lord, the God of hosts, is his name. This is the God that we speak of today. He's the God that has not only made known his thoughts, but he is the God who knows your thoughts. He is the God who knows my thoughts. He is the God who created this beautiful blue sky and these clouds. He's the God who's created this beautiful green grass, these trees, the sun that's shining. He created you. He created me. He created all people in his image. The Bible says his ways are past finding out. The Bible says unsearchable are his riches. The Bible says his ways are higher than our ways. This is the God that we declare unto you today, my dear friend. The creator, the sovereign ruler of this universe. There's not a speck in this universe that God is not keenly aware of. There is not a corridor in the heart of any college professor that God doesn't know perfectly. God is God, friends, and besides Him there is no other God. He is the only God. He is the one true God. And we preach Him unto you today. Amos said here, prepare to meet thy God. Talking to a people. Warning them of coming judgment. It was an impending judgment. It was a judgment that was a certain judgment. And He said unto them, because He could see that they had no desire to turn to God and to follow Him in His ways. And He came with this approach. He said, Prepare to meet thy God. Today, here in less than an hour, there's going to be a kickoff right up here at Green Stadium at about 5.30. ETSU has made itself host to a team from North Dakota and they're going to play a football game good Lord willing here very soon and I can already tell you because I have spoken with a student from ETSU this week who assured me that the ETSU football team has been practicing they have been practicing. They have been preparing. They've been trying to make themselves ready for this team today. North Dakota State, I believe it is. And they've been preparing and preparing and preparing. And may I say to you today, my dear friend, those of you who don't know God, you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ, there will come a day when you will stand before Him. And on that day, you need to be, you need to be ready. You need to make yourself ready for that day. Because when you step out onto the gridiron with God, I can assure you, you're no match for God. We've already quoted scripture today from Ephesians chapter 2 that tells us that salvation comes by grace through faith and not works. Not works. Please be aware of that. Please be aware of that. You're not going to be able to stand before God in your own power, in your own strength. 
How do we prepare to meet God? I'll get to that in just a moment. But I want to press this point home today. When we're talking about preparing to meet God, please be well advised because there's a lot of people who are depending upon their own goodness, their own self-righteousness, their church attendance, giving money in the offering plate, doing good works. You'll never be able to do enough good works, friends, to buy your way into heaven, to merit your salvation. You'll never be able to do enough good works to earn your salvation. Your best 15 seconds upon this planet Earth will be good enough to merit you eternal hell forever and ever apart from the Lord Jesus Christ. So this warning that comes to us from Amos chapter 4, prepare to meet thy God, that is a warning that was good for Israel in the days of Amos, but it is a warning that is good for every man, every woman, every boy, every girl, in every time period since the day of the prophet Amos. Prepare to meet thy God. God. 